Hello again. Here we are to talk about our weather app in Swift, um, Swift 2 and Xcode 7. And in the last video, we used um, this, this NS URL session to uh, create a data task and load some data from the internet. And right now, our data is raw, and it just looks like, you know, bytecode. So what we want to do is we want to convert this into something useful. And we'll actually have to do a couple conversions because you know, we'll have to convert the bytes here to text and then convert the text into JSON and convert that into, you know, something that, that Xcode's going to understand. Um, and, you know, there's some helper tools for us, right? So, you know, we could do that all ourselves, but um, some smart people have made some pretty good tools. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out on the Internet and we're going to get this thing called Swifty JSON, okay? So I'm just going to type in Swifty JSON and hit return. And there's a, a GitHub project for this. So we'll look for Swifty JSON. And uh, here's the project here. And you can click download zip. Really, we just need one file out of here. Okay. And you can read the instructions here on how to use this. And I'll, I'll refer to this too. But uh, essentially, you know, if you read um, the installation instructions here, they'll tell you that you just need one file and it happens to be in the um, the source code folder here. Um, I'm just going to download the entire project and I actually have already done that so I have it here in my my downloads folder right there right so there's the folder that I downloaded and then there's the source folder and in the source folder here there's a file called uh, swifty uh, swift and this is the file that we want. And so to include that file in your Xcode project, what you'll do is this. You will uh, drag the Swifty JSON file into the project navigator over here. Okay, so I'll just drag it. You can place it anywhere in here. I'll put it over here. And then it'll say, you know, it'll ask you like, hey, how do you want to include that file with this project? Let's choose copy items if needed, make sure that it has this thing, add to target here for our app, and then click finished. And so there's our um, Swifty JSON file right there, okay? And there's all the code for that. So to use this now, what we'll do is we'll, we'll use it to convert our data into, um, into JSON, right? Or convert it into something useful there. So uh, what we're going to do is I'll, I'll comment this print out because we don't need that anymore. And what we're going to do is we'll refer to the, the site here and you can see um, integration. This talks about how to import it. Um, we just did this thing here. You can manually add this by just dragging it into your project. And then it says usage. So um, they say initialization. For some reason, I didn't have to do this, um, so I left that out. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use this. And our, um, our app right now already gets the data from the Internet. So we're really at this step right here, and this data from networking is our data right here. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll borrow that code there. We'll say let JSON equal uppercase JSON, and you can find it on the menu here, JSON, right? So I'll choose that one. And then when I hit uh, the parentheses there, what I want is I want um, I want this option here, JSON data with NS data, okay? And this NS data right there is the data that we got, right? Because remember, this is NS data right here, right? Okay, and then you can see I'm getting an error, and if you recall, this NS data right here is an optional, and so this is probably telling me that, you know, I need to unwrap the optional with the exclamation point, or if you want, you could set this up as if let, okay? So, uh, so I'll, just, I'll just put the exclamation point in there, and then I'm just getting a warning saying that I haven't used this JSON variable. So now that we're this far, um, we've got our, our JSON data, and it's in a format now that we can browse easily, okay? 
Um, so what we need to do at this stage is we need to look at the data that we're getting back. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here. And this is a little hard to read, but this is what was returned from, um, from Open Weather Map. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to their, their API right here. And, and what I'm doing is I'm at API. And let me scroll all the way down here. So I'm at the Current Weather Data API. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down until... Why do they have to advertise underwear in the middle of my video? Um, I'm going to scroll down until I get to the, um, the section down here that says JSON, and then it says Example Data, and then it says Parameters, right? So this is what we want to look at. And let me arrange my windows here so I can see those parameters down there. And let's talk about how we're going to get to them, right? So if we want to get to this coordinate parameter, it has two child values of longitude and latitude, okay? And so if we want to get to those, what we can do is we can say, um, how about let longitude equal, and our JSON object is lowercase JSON, okay? It's this one, right? that we created on this line. And if we want to get at a coord, what we'll do is we'll say square brackets and then in quotation marks, we'll type in the name of the property. And then if we want to get the sub property here, we'll do the square brackets and type in that property again. And we're going to do one more thing here because this value is the, the, you know, the geolocation for this city, right? And that's a floating point number. So we want to tell um, Swifty to convert that to a double. So we'll put dot double on the end. And then if you wanted to get the latitude, you could say lat equals, you know, JSON coordinate latitude. And that's also a double. Okay. And you can go through here and get any of the things. So let's go through and get the temperature. I'm curious like what the temperature is. So what we'll do is we'll say let temp equal Jason. And in this case, it's going to be in main temp. So we'll say main temp. And temp is also a double. So we'll grab the double. Let's get the... Um, Let's get a different one down here. How about um, I don't know here. Let's find. I'm trying to find one that might be a string. Um, let's see. Maybe we want this one. Weather. Um, well, we'll just stick with these for now. We'll go through and get the other ones later, but just for testing. So, so let's test these values. So I got three values here, and I want to print them out. So let's do print. Put the quotes there. And we'll print uh, latitude colon, and we'll put our latitude here. And this is actually going to return an optional. And we can check that with the option key. So I'll hold the option key and click on latitude. And you can see it ends double question mark. So that's an optional. So we'll have to unwrap it with the exclamation point. And then we'll do longitude colon is longitude exclamation point and then temperature colon is temp exclamation point right so those are the three values that we got and then we'll print them out to the console and we have a few more things to do here but this is getting pretty far now we're actually getting the data off the internet right so we'll uh, we'll test that one more time waiting patiently while the simulator starts up. And then I'll type in a city. And I'll click OK. And then you can see there it prints out, you know, 5150 for the latitude, longitude negative 0.13. And temperature is 283.29. So we're getting our data, right? Um, so that's working pretty good. We got a few more things to do. So right now, 
this will only give us weather for London. So we want to change this so that we can insert our own city name in here. And we should also change this ID to be our own um, app ID from Open Weather Map, right? So we're going to do that. And then we're going to want to take all of this stuff, you know, all the data that we got here, and actually turn it into a weather object that we can pass back to our delegate, if you remember that stuff, right? And then that should update the data on the screen in our app. Okay, so anyway, so thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful, and then we'll continue the rest of this in the next video.